Keanu Reeves indeed stands out in the world of celebrities for his unique approach to fame. While many public figures' lowest moments or controversies tend to garner the most attention, Keanu's enduring appeal comes from his remarkable down-to-earth and humble demeanor. His authenticity and genuine nature have earned him a dedicated and adoring fan base, but maybe he has failed to earn Hollywood elites' favor. He claims to have observed genuinely sinister deeds committed by these elites, which led him to defy their authority. Hollywood has often been portrayed as a realm where humility and down-to-earth qualities are overlooked. The influential figures who hold sway tend to dismiss individuals' talents and instead aim to exert control or demand obedience. Keanu Reeves, too, has faced challenges within this system. Nevertheless, he has recently shed light on his experiences, revealing the pressures and attempts by powerful forces to influence his path in the industry. During one interview, he said, no, it but it's just the way it is. You can have positive and negative experiences. But what I like about studios are the resources and the worlds that they can create. Obviously, a lot of good filmmakers work on studio movies. In a widely viewed 2011 video, which has amassed an astounding 16 million views, an unfortunate incident occurred. A woman unintentionally backed her Mercedes SUV into Keanu Reeves' beloved 1973 Norton Commando 750 motorcycle, while the actor happened to be inside a medical facility. The Beverly Hills police promptly arrived to document the incident, and Keanu engaged in a discussion with both the law enforcement officers and the woman involved. However, it's worth noting that some individuals have speculated whether this accident had more to it than meets the eye, suggesting the involvement of Hollywood elites. Roberto. Everybody, yes. back, back up. In a separate video from 2021 with 8.3 million views, Keanu openly discusses his motorcycle with his fans. This video had attracted significant attention, with viewers dissecting it as if it were a social experiment or a unique insight into the actor's life. One person wrote, I like the distance they keep. He does nothing to keep them at bay, but their respect shows in the way they stand back and give him space. And meanwhile, he's smiling, talking, reaching out to them. He's doing nothing to push them away. In a 2015 video, Keanu Reeves can be seen walking briskly through an airport, pausing to take photos with fans. Notably, he is traveling on a commercial flight and appears to have no bodyguards, even though his net worth at the time was estimated at $350 million. Once Joe Rogan talked about Keanu and he said, funny thing, I'm giving total credit to Keanu, 100%. He started doing that and I'm like, what are you doing? He was like, I'm checking that, I give the credit to Keanu. I mean, that's awesome. It may seem unusual that people applaud Keanu Reeves for displaying basic human decency, highlighting how Hollywood has significantly diminished our expectations of celebrities. Despite Keanu's remarkable achievements in Hollywood, there is a side of him that strongly rejects the allure and extravagance associated with Tinseltown. The reasons behind his sentiments are anything but lighthearted. When you see him, he's dressed like me. Yeah. He's got like a regular watch on and sneakers. He's normal. It's, it's real weird. And people freak out. They're like, is that? No, can't be. Keanu's widely recognized reputation as a truly kind-hearted individual could easily overshadow the profound animosity he holds towards the unsettling and formidable aspects of the entertainment industry. Beneath his affable exterior lies a deeply ingrained resentment, stemming from his genuine disquiet with the industry's superficiality and manipulative tendencies. According to him, there was an independent element that first adopted digital, but when it got to Hollywood and the mainstream, every role had to be looked at. People lost their jobs. Industries have fallen because of this transition. But jobs are also being created. It is nature and it can be brutal sometimes, and it can be beautiful. According to Keanu, the prevailing culture in Hollywood appears to prioritize power over ethics, prompting him to engage in a personal crusade against the darker facets of the entertainment world. The recent apprehension of Harvey Weinstein brought the shadowy underbelly of Hollywood's elite to the forefront, 
exposing the disconcerting truth of the industry. With numerous actors, directors, and producers facing allegations of sexual misconduct, the industry's unpleasant realities were undeniably laid bare. I'm more like on the ground playing in the mud, and he's like flying and jumping and outside of buildings and helicopters. Keanu emphasized that the problem of exploiting young, aspiring women might not be the only issue plaguing Hollywood. He also drew attention to something even more disconcerting, the presence of sinister elements such as individuals with unusual practices like blood drinking within the industry. One thing I could say is that I share, you know, as you spoke about, the passion for movies and for, you know, we're, we're lucky to be there and we're just trying to have fun. Recently, a website spun a wholly fabricated narrative involving actor Keanu Reeves, falsely asserting that he made a statement in Milan suggesting that Hollywood elites employ the blood of babies to get high. This concocted story gained significant traction on Facebook, amassing over 26,000 engagements. It was shared not only on the Verified Your Newswire platform, but also on associated pages of The People's Voice. He said during an interview, yeah, digitally. I don't mind if someone takes a blink out during an edit, but early on in the early 2000s, or it might've been the 90s, I had a performance changed. They added a tear to my face and I was just like, huh? It was like, I don't even have to be here. During the production of The Devil's Advocate, Keanu Reeves made a remarkable choice that few actors would even contemplate. He willingly let go of something that most would fiercely hold on to, a substantial paycheck. The Devil's Advocate is a supernatural thriller that delves into the murky realms of success and temptation centering around a young lawyer. As casting discussions progressed, not even the Oscar-winning Al Pacino, who was approached for the role of John Milton, could be swayed initially. He declined the offer three times, expressing reservations about the character's cliched nature. No. I mean, you are at first, but you become a pretty bad guy. Do I? Yes, well, I, I do. So. Well, first of all, well, you're, you're not very good to Charlize, for starters. Yes, I am. For in well, the beginning, no. I am. Yeah, but... Pacino went on to suggest Robert Redford and Sean Connery as potential candidates for the role. Allegedly, Keanu agreed to a substantial reduction in his fee, amounting to millions of dollars, in order to help meet Al Pacino's salary demands. Once again, Keanu's selflessness proved to be beneficial for all parties involved except for himself. The movie eventually raked in over $61 million in box office revenue, with Al Pacino's performance garnering significant praise as a standout highlight within the film. But I mean, all, but I don't know, didn't you, you remember that scene where um, Al Pacino is, is, is talking and I'm in his, I'm in his, um, his apartment yeah. and he's saying, It wasn't an isolated incident where he sacrificed a portion of his earnings. About three years later, Keanu Reeves reportedly agreed to a significant 90% reduction in his salary to co-star alongside Gene Hackman in The Replacements. However, public opinion about Keanu's talent was divided, with some considering him as mediocre. Nevertheless, his performance in Bram Stoker's Dracula, an acclaimed gothic horror film where he portrayed Jonathan Harker, proved to be both artistically and financially triumphant. Even the film's director said, we knew that it was tough for him to affect an English accent. He tried so hard. That was the problem, actually. He wanted to do it perfectly, and in trying to do it perfectly, it came off as stilted. I tried to get him to just relax with it and not do it so fastidiously. So maybe I wasn't as critical of him, but that's because I like him personally so much. To this day, he's a prince in my eyes. Amidst these challenges, Keanu Reeves remained steadfast never yielding to the temptation of compromising his principles for the sake of wealth and celebrity status. He was not navigating this journey alone. His loyal fans stood firmly by his side, consistently expressing their affection and unwavering support for him. From the very beginning, Keanu Reeves has distinguished himself among A-list celebrities through his unique approach. Now, the reasons behind this distinctiveness come into focus. While many celebrities frequently engage in public displays of affection and emphasize certain physical aspects, Keanu takes a different route. He notably refrains from physical contact, and this choice is deeply rooted in his apprehension of being swayed by the industry's negative elements. It stands as his way of resisting the prevalent objectification and exploitation that regrettably permeate Hollywood. No, I'm not as good as Kai. But it was nice to play him. It was nice to be that good a guy. 
Keanu Reeves' philanthropic efforts are truly commendable. He actively involves himself in charitable initiatives and passionately supports causes that are dear to him. What's particularly striking is his humility. He chooses not to publicize his name in connection with the foundation. Back in 2009, he said during an interview, I have a private foundation that's been running for five or six years, and it helps aid a couple of children's hospitals and cancer research. I don't like to attach my name to it. I just let the foundation do what it does. Keanu's decision to maintain anonymity in his charitable efforts goes beyond mere humility. It serves as a deliberate strategy to create a protective buffer from the opportunistic elements of Hollywood. By refraining from associating his name with his philanthropic actions, he guards against potential exploitation by individuals who might attempt to leverage his altruism for their personal gain. But reality is not as nice. A UNICEF study shows that you, Canada, have the fifth highest rate of bullying in rich countries. Other than this in the iconic sci-fi action movie created by siblings Lily and Lana Wachowski, there's a scene that has achieved legendary status. It's the moment when Lawrence Fishburne's character, Morpheus, presents Keanu Reeves's character, Thomas Anderson Neo, with a crucial choice to select either a red pill or a blue pill. Yeah, I mean, I think John Wick's a red pill guy. <laughs> yeah, he's very much a red pill guy. The introduction of the red pill generated considerable intrigue among online users, sparking raised eyebrows and speculations. Some internet denizens even ventured to propose that this red pill symbolized something far more profound, dubbing it as the blood that Keanu had unveiled. The intrigue intensified due to the perception that Neo's choice wasn't entirely voluntary, prompting additional inquiries from online communities. That's it for today. See you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.